come in already. And that question, it says right down here, uh, I'm concerned about managing patient privacy and adhering to HIPAA regulations. So Mike, do you mind explaining to people, um, can you explain how the healthcare VA uh, follows HIPAA compliance? Yeah, no problem, Nathan. And, and, and an answer to your to the question is, so was I. Um, <laughs> when, when we decided to take on the HIPAA compliant uh, VA space, I knew that with all of the vertical markets that we support, um, it had to be, we had to do it great and we had to do it first rate. And to do that was to actually bring on a company that can help us manage that. And again, with HIPAA, there's a lot of uh, uh, responsibilities, a lot of procedures you have to follow in order to provide that HIPAA compliant uh, uh, virtual assistant. Right. Um, so we brought in a company named Digital Compliance and they not only worked with us in the beginning to make sure we were HIPAA compliant, but they stuck, they stick with us and audit us on a regular basis to make sure um, that we continue um, doing what we say that we're going to do and be and continue to be HIPAA compliant. So one of the main things that we do that's a little different than other people and other companies is HIPAA compliance is in the office. It means that all HIPAA compliant VAs work in the office. We don't hire them and then let them go to their home and be HIPAA compliant. They're in our office. They're overseen by our team leader who is a HIPAA compliant team leader, mostly are a either either a doctor, uh, not doctor, excuse me, uh, a nurse or someone with extreme healthcare knowledge. All right. So they are trained and they are managed by that person. Besides the main things that you guys all know being managed is that when they come in, they have to put their phones in their lockers. There's no, tr there's no way to use phones, take PPI information, all that sort of stuff. But again, there, besides all of the things, there are 13 no-nonsense HIPAA security points that we follow here. Um, the first one is there's a firewall that's installed to protect against authorized intrusion. A virus detection system is implemented. The use of internet via our network is not permitted for personal use. All systems require a, va require a valid username and password. Users are not permitted to allow other persons or entitled to use their user ID or ID or smart card for authentication information. It sounds simple and it sounds like a, a common thing, but a lot of times people say, hey, use this, use that. We are militant in making sure that people use their own usernames and passwords and they do not give it out to anybody else. Users have to log off their systems between going before going to lunch, breaks, all that sort of stuff. Again, you know, failing to do that, you leave your workstation, someone comes in, they see something they're not supposed to see. These are all basic steps that you need to take and everybody should take if they're HIPAA compliant. All terminals have password protected screens and they're at, and the screen servers activate every five minutes. The same thing with the password protected screen, you can't see from either side. And also if you walk away and you forget, Everything shut off. Um, after three unsuccessful attempts to enter their password, the user ID will be suspended. Upon termination, all passwords for employees will be immediately changed or deactivated. Passwords will be changed immediately in the event of any suspected breach. All mobile phones, as I said in the beginning, and I think it's the biggest one. I know you guys are probably laughing, but you have to put them in your locker. No one's allowed to have any mobile phones. Again, we're dealing with very sensitive information, your information. All right. And again, this seems silly too, but the, offer, the, the office is locked. It's locked at all times. And you cannot come in and out with a key card. Now, again, these are 13 points. There are a lot of other things that go into making sure that your information is protected and we are fully and we are fully compliant with it. But these are the main things right here.